my lovely readers. Welcome to Living the Tales with me, Miss Priyanka. Are you ready for a bedtime story? Get cozy and comfortable in your blanket, lay down, and if you like reading with me, do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and turn on the post notification bell to get notified every time I post a new story. So this story is about a little unicorn, Twinkle. Ten minutes to bed, her dad would call. But this little unicorn is not tired at all. Let's find out what she will do as we read. Ten minutes to bed, little unicorn. If you have a copy of this book, go get it so that you can read along with me. Ten minutes to bed, little unicorn. Unicorn by Ryan Fielding and Chris Chatterton. Twinkle, the naughty unicorn, had glittery feet and a sparkly horn. Ten minutes to bed, her dad would call, but this little unicorn was not tired at all. Unicorns live in a magical land full of marshmallow clouds and pink sugar sand. Nine minutes to bed, let's try to be quiet. Shh! But Twinkle was causing a bit of a riot. Now, unicorns don't often cause trouble, but Twinkle always seemed to make double. Eight minutes to bed, her daddy frowned, but Twinkle was dancing and prancing around, dashing about chasing pixies and sprites and fairies that fluttered like tiny bright lights. Seven minutes, said dad, but she swished her tail, for Twinkle had found a footprint trail. What sharp claws and what huge feet! I wonder what hairy trolls like to eat. Six minutes to bed, said her dad with a sigh. But now Twinkle had spotted bright twins in the sky. A baby dragon, swooping higher and higher, breathing great flames of golden fire. Five minutes to bed, so don't go far. But Twinkle had seen a shooting star. As it shot through the sky like a spark, she followed the star's bright silver arc. Four minutes, she grumbled with a big groan. But soon she'd forgotten how to get home. In the magical velvety starlit night, Twinkle scrunched her eyes up tight. Three minutes, she thought her bedtime was near, so she wished and she wished, and a rainbow appeared. From a unicorn's wish, a rainbow is made, so no little unicorns ever afraid. And if a unicorn's lost and alone, they follow their rainbow to lead them back home. Over the rainbow, back through the wood, Twinkle trotted as fast as she could. Two minutes to bed. She heard her dad call. Perhaps she was ready for bed after all. Curled up tight, feeling happy and warm. So snug, thought the sleepy unicorn. There you are, Twinkle. One minute to bed. But Twinkle was fast asleep. Instead, night night, good night. Thank you so much for watching and reading along with me. Good night.